Hey, friends and followers. This is Michelle. I'm just coming back at you. It's been a while and everything. Setting up my phone here for videoing. I hope you can hear me clearly. I tried this a while ago and it just not picking up very well. But this is just an update. The Bodybuilding.com challenge is over and they haven't enough announced the winners yet. I'm sure I most likely won't win because, you know, I've lost some. I lost 20 since the beginning of the year. So, um, I'm at about 145 now. And I have my body fat check on the 11th. And I just wanted to share that with you and the difference between my body fat scale, um, uh, the BIA scale, it's a Weight Watcher scale, and my uh, or or Omron uh, body fat analyzer. Um, so it doesn't measure your weight, obviously, because it's a handheld. And then the caliper check that was done by a trainer um, that's well experienced, and she's she's checked my body fat several times in the past years. So let me share the difference between them. My um, Weight Watcher scale measured me on the 11th at 144 pounds and 31% body fat. And the Omron body fat analyzer had me at 28.3%. And then she measured me and she checked four sites, my triceps, abs, ilium, and thigh. I don't know if you could see that she checked me and it came out to 28.9 percent is what she came up with now of course the differences are obvious your scale and this is going to depend on your moisture in your hands and feet um and how much water you have in your body at the time uh, that's why i always measure it before i eat in the morning and or before I consume anything in the morning and after I've used the bathroom um, so I did it I did this and the scale before I went and had her check me and everything so obviously then my body fat ranges from 28 to 31 which my abs always measure bigger I've got so much loose skin and it'd be kind of hard to pinch it can um, so yeah so you got to make sure conditions are right for your, um, whether it's your feet. If you moisturize your feet um, and or your hands, it can measure probably higher if you use a something fat-based because fat, you know, with the BIA, it's an electrical thing. Electricity doesn't flow through fat as wet, quick, uh, very quickly. So it's a good insulator so it will it slows it down so that's how it's getting a lower a higher measurement of that and if you're not hydrated enough it can throw it off too so you want to make sure you're well hydrated um, but not right before getting on it because that could throw it off you don't really want anything on your stomach so there's certain things that get you the um, best reading but if you want you they say just use those things as a to measure um you know progress not accuracy so um that way you know you just you can see your progress you know whether it's going up or down but not depend on that for accuracy so you have to do that and um everything so that's why I just you want to do exactly the same every time so that you see if anything's been going around so obviously it has been going down I mean let's see I was at let me see here I thought I had that written down earlier I was I had like on the scale had me last a month ago I was at 34.2 percent body fat and now the scale reads at quite a bit lower at 31 percent so yeah 
uh, if you go according to scale body fat measurement, I've lost, what, 3%, something like that, body fat. If you go according to the handheld, it's not exact, it doesn't show a 3%, but it's, you know, somewhere around there. So that's that. I just wanted to share that with you because I haven't shared with you anything in a while and everything. And another thing I wanted to touch on, you know, I got to thinking, you know, I don't want to try to justify myself in things I do, but I think we all at times try to make our actions seem right. Do you see my doggy, Sebastian? He needs love. Yeah, she's a sweet baby. So, yeah, I know you want some love. I know, baby. You're just a baby. I know. He's my baby. So, yeah. Uh, Sebastian, do I taste that good? Yeah. So, I wanted to share with you about, you don't, you, what do you want? Do you need, you just need somebody to love you. You need your mommy? You. Yeah. Well, like I said, I just um, wanted to share with you some thoughts. Oh, Sebastian. I'm trying to not mess up this phone camera. Make it video correctly for me. So, I was, how could I compare this? You know, I go to a conservative church. Pretty conservative. They don't tell you what to wear or anything, but... Um, you know, they have guidelines. Well, no, if you come in as you are, it's no big deal. But, um, you know, certain things they, they would prefer, you know, they don't make anybody do anything, which I love. You know, you come as you are and it's no big deal. If you wear jeans, no big deal to church, you know, cause not everybody can afford certain things. And you have to wear whatever you wear. But I was just thinking about the difference between people showing their women specifically, the showing the your abdominal region, especially if you have a six pack or whatever. Obviously, I don't have with my flabby, sagging skin. I don't have a body for a bikini, but that's okay. But the point is that you know, some get condemned for showing that but not showing their arm, for instance. It's okay to show this body part but not certain or put on all this makeup. You work really hard to get them six pack abs. You worked really hard to do your hair or your face to look good. I mean, whatever, you, you know, you do it for the glory of God. You honor God with your body and all that you do you know, that means, you know, taking care of it, you know, keeping clean, um, staying healthy and fit and not, you know, throwing junk into your body. Um, and some people like to go and do these comp bikini competitions or something, show off all the hard work that they put into getting in shape. And I'm not saying bikini competitions are the best thing to do to do that because some of them are too extreme and they go crazy and very it's you know really extreme so um, and if you do them that's fine everybody has their own personal beliefs and what the Lord I think the Lord would you know if you're not doing something that you should be doing the Lord is going to speak to you about that and you're going to feel that nudge in your spirit that this isn't right or this is okay you'll have peace about it if it's if it's the right thing to do you won't feel like oh um, I need to you know I don't want no one to find out or anything but also along that lines it got me to think you know, I went to a car show they had all their antique cars lined up showing them off all their hard work, these people are sitting around just letting people ooh and ah over their cars. Isn't that the same thing almost? Except, it's, of course, it's not your physical body, but they've worked really hard to get them cars restored. 
Same with farm animals or dogs or chickens or your produce. You know, someone works really hard to get the biggest squash or the biggest zucchini or pumpkin to win a prize at a fair or something or get the best price. And people are doing that. Well, wouldn't that be about the same thing in a way? I mean, it, of course, it doesn't. The Bible doesn't. Certain things the Bible doesn't specifically say. I think because it's up to your personal convictions with the Lord. For one person, may be right. For another person, is wrong because it's just it goes against what their heart is saying. You know, an alcoholic can't have alcohol around. It would be wrong. For, but someone that doesn't have a problem with it, it's not a big deal. Um, so, I guess my point is, you know, you do what the Lord leads you to do. And it depends on the culture, too, and your society that you live in, whether it's right or wrong. Some, some cultures, you can't show any body part, really. And then others go to the other extreme and they show I guess because of the weather and stuff like that they it's just a culture you know and here in America you have so many varying especially in my community so many varying beliefs in how far in that um, showing your skin but yeah why is one part of the body okay and then not another why do men get to show off their abs but women can't so, or can't, I'm sorry. My speech is Southern. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I wanted to share. But yeah, I'm not saying that it's, you know, I do agree that, you know, come on, Sebastian, please. You're messing up my screen. Stop that. Stop that. Okay? Um, like, it does say don't cast a stumbling block before your brother or sister, you know, by what you're doing and that applies to what you're eating um cars too because i mean people get envying a car or that you have or um they want to eat all that food you know you can't have soda you know but someone else can have a soda you know and you long for that you know but you know you can't have that so um you know, and I think no matter what you do, someone's going to, and no matter what you wear, somebody's going to look and say, I want, you know, I want that six pack abs or I want, you know, and, you know, and they've done studies, I believe, on, you know, women getting raped and it didn't matter what they wore. Clothing doesn't stop anyone from doing anything you know and a lot of people try to hide things you know and everything so like I said I don't have the body necessarily for a bikini because I mean it would kind of look I've seen where women or oh, you know very obese women wearing bikinis and if they're proud of their body and they're they feel confident and they love themselves enough and they don't feel ashamed because that's what it is. Do you feel ashamed of yourself and what God has created? You know? Or are you, there's the extreme, are you so proud and almost conceited to a point that you just, that's what you, you want to show it off because you want those people to look, you want people to look at you a certain way. You want to be objectified. You know, so there's a balance between being ashamed of what God's created in you or and being too proudful and wanting people to ooh and ah over you. So there's my two cents. I mean, it's what it is. Sebastian, you're going to have to get off of me for a minute. I've got to stop this video here because I'm sure everybody's done watching me for now. So if you've watched me this far, thank you. Don't forget to like. And comment what you think. I appreciate thoughts um, and everything. And I really appreciate anybody that watches my videos. I know it's only a few, but I thank you few that do. I will 
check you in the next video. Thank you.